Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and uh, this is going to be another applied math example. We're going to apply it to Minecraft, but I don't really know. I, I know what I want to do, but I don't know what math topics I'm going to go over. So this one's going to be interesting, and then I'll end up placing the video where I think it needs to be. But imagine if there is a river in Minecraft. So here's your land, and the water's in the middle. Okay and you know that you want to cross so let's say that you want to um, get a couple cows and fence them up but you found the cows on the other side of the river and it's going to be really hard to get them to your fence so here's your fence made out of blue wood and yeah and um, here's the purple cows okay with ears so those are your cows and you want to lead them across the river and you know it's like a 45 degree angle and then your blue wood fence is over here okay so how would you calculate like how many um, you know like chunks of dirt do you need to build the bridge across alright so let's say that you measure this why would you measure it that way but let's let's just say you measure it that way okay and let's say that you know again it's 45 degree angle and so we'll say that it's 20 blocks across and 20 blocks up all right, so let's start cleaning things up a little bit. Cause as, as wonderful as that pink horse cow is in the blue wood fence. Um, so we know that we want to build the bridge across a span where in the x and y direction it's 20. Does that make sense? And we want to build a bridge across. Well, we kind of need to know this distance a bit, don't we? We don't know what it is yet. Well, we can quick calculate that. All right, that is the square root of 20 squared plus 20 squared, which is the same as 2 times 20 squared. Square root of that with a thing there, whatever that thing is called. And so we go square root of 20 squared times 2 is how I'm doing it. And we get a distance of 28 point two eight so somehow you get a quarter of a block of dirt I don't know but think about this if we're going 20 over and 20 up what if we just start building it so let, let's let's shrink this let's shrink this let's say that it's five by five okay well what you could do is build one two, three, four, five things of dirt. If you're going over one, two, three, four, am I doing one, two, three, four, five, okay, and if you're building up five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, you could kind of do it with just five blocks. Now, maybe you trust the cow to not fall off the edge of that, but what's the square root? So I'm going to calculate it. What is, let me write it for you first. What is the square root of 5 squared plus 5 squared? Okay, so the square root of 5 squared plus 5 squared, and I used the wrong kind of bracket. 5 times the square root of 2, thanks. That's useful. All right, we end up with 7.07. 7. But what? Let me get a different color for that to emphasize my confusion. This just looks like five to me. There's one, two, three, four, five of these. Okay, so how could we use this to really calculate it? That doesn't make sense. So one of the reasons that it would be longer is the distance, hopefully you know, from here to here and here to here, that distance is less than from here to here, right? And so I guess it would be longer. So how would you calculate this out for any size? Well, I think we know that as long as it's a 45 degree angle, if you're going for an area that is now, you know, 20 by 20, you could build it this way, corner to corner, and it'd just be 20 of these, 20 blocks going up this way right 
And so this does not have to correlate with that distance. What did I calculate? I think it was 28.28, .28, right, was the distance. But it only takes 20 blocks to get there, because remember that each block you can kind of make into its own little triangle here. See that? Let, let's emphasize that color. Yoink. And this line, this purple line, is longer than any one of these green lines because these are squares, because Minecraft has smooth, beautiful graphics, right? So that's kind of interesting. Here's a case where you don't need that many blocks to get that far. But now let's do kind of a more interesting scenario. You don't want to actually have it just corner to corner, right? You want this a little wider so the cow won't fall off. So how would we do that? So let's go back to a 5x5 five five case. Imagine that you're trying to cross a river that on one side is 5, that drew very well, and on the other side is 5. Okay, so we need 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But you want to be extra safe about this. So now we're going to make this extra wide. So let's see, how do we want to do this? If the river, so the river would be going this way, which in Minecraft means it would be all jagged, crooked lines, but what we would probably do is build one here, build one here, and then there would also be one here, and also one here. Then there, 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 there. So now let's count these. So this is one, two, three, four, five from before, right? So just like before, we've got five of these dudes. And then for the green guys, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six of these twice. So we've got hopefully an O12. So this leads to a total of 17 blocky doos. Okay. Now let's let's also examine this if it was just three by three. So what if this was just three by three? So there's the three. And let's erase this. Make sure it looks about right when I draw this. This would go like this. Erase this a little bit better. All right, so this is the scenario if it's just a three by three, three in the X, three in the Y direction. So what do we got? We got three purple guys, and we got one, two, three, four, so eight green blocks. And what does that get us? Well, we combine these two, and that's 11. All right, so let's see if we can calculate out using Y equals MX plus B and find how many blocks if we want it kind of that little triple wide type style. All right, so let's do that. So we want y equals mx plus b. And hopefully this is going to model our situation. What is y? Well, y is the number of blocks. m is uh, something. And b, m is the slope. And then B is going to be the y-intercept. X is going to be this size, right? So if you've got a 5 by 5, right, we're going to treat X as 5. If we've got the 3 by 3, we're going to treat X as 3. So we'll treat that as just the purple blocks, like we just know how many purple blocks we need. But then we want to calculate, because this part's a little goofy, right? That's a little hard to wrap your head around. So let's start writing out the equation. So the first time Y, let's go for the short one y is 11. So 11 equals m, which we don't know yet, times x. What is x? In this case, x is 3. All right. Plus b, which is still unknown. And then the other is 17 equals m, slope, still unknown, times 5 plus b. OK? So hopefully you know how to do this. If you don't, that's life. But this is called simultaneous linear equations. And I am in the process of calculating that now for you guys.
if I can type right. So let me finish calculating. This. I'll fast forward to when I got it calculated. And we're back. All right. So I got an M. Let's do a different color. Yoink. Different color. So M is 3 and B is 2. Now let's make sure that it works, right? We always want to double check this. How would we double check it? Think, turn those gears in that head. See if you can figure it out. Pause the video if you need to. I'm about to tell you the answer. Time's up, I'm telling you. Hopefully you paused it. Let's see. So we've got y equals mx plus b. Well, m is 3 times, in this case, 3 for the 3 blocks there. Remember, this is for those purple middle blocks. 3 times 3 plus 2 for b. So we're going to get a 9 plus 2 which gets us 11. And would you look at that? Ta-da! That worked. But let's continue to test this. We've got 3 is the m value, 3 is the slope, times 5, plus, and the b is the same, 2. What are we going to get? We're going to get 15 plus 2 equals, oh, 17. Look at that. Math is so much fun, guys. Look at this. So this is working. Now, let's see, can we accurately predict how many blocks it's going to take to build that three-wide thingamajig bridge to bring our purple cow to our blue wood fence? How many blocks is it going to take if it's a 4x4 four four river? Right, so we got a river between our purple cow, which now looks like this because I'm lazy, and our blue wood fence, which looks like that. And this distance from here to here, here to here, right, is measured 4 by 4. How many blocks do we predict with our mathematical model we made? How many blocks is it going to take? Let's do it. Let's start punching this through. All right. Have I used all these colors already? Let's go with, like, super red. Awesome. M is 3. The number of blocks in this case is 4. That's what we're trying to calculate and find out if we're right. Plus b. b is 2. That is a bad plus. Plus b. Why did I say b? I meant 2. That equals 12 plus 2. And that equals 14. I'm a little nervous here. These are all odd numbers. Um, now, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, but I'm a little nervous about that number. Let's start drawing it out. So we got our purple blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four, which we should have already known and predicted that, right? That's kind of the easy part. And then let's draw in this river. The river goes like right at the corners. And then we were making these guys green. So we had one here. And I'll just finish drawing it, and then we will count. And we will have our moment of truth. Here we go. So we've got four purple. We already know that. And then one, two, three, four, five. So that's, oh, we got it. Because if there's five and then five, that's ten. And that, my friends, is going to get us fourteen. Look at that. How cool is that? Don't you feel smarter today? I sure do. So we just found a way. If you, I don't know who in the right mind would measure a river this way, but let's say you did. Oh, I know how you would. Let's say that you get to one side of the river and you hit F3, right? If you're on a computer, um, if you're playing this on your mom's phone, I don't know exactly how you're going to find your coordinates. I don't know how that works. Um, but if you hit F3, you get your first point and then your second point, you're going to end up with these x, y coordinates, right? When you hit F3, you have all this stuff over here, all this stuff, and some of those are numbers that tell you where you are in the world, and so that's how you could measure it. So, yeah, my scenario is not totally crazy, except the purple cow, but this worked, okay? We managed to find an actual equation where if you're going to build a bridge that's like three wide, 45 degree angle, we can actually calculate how many blocks 
you're going to need to make this happen. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let me see. What am I going to have to mark this as? So we've got, I'm going to go with a white. I haven't used white. All right, so we've got y equals mx plus b. So that's slope intercept form. So we got that. So slope intercept. We've got linear. This is a linear equation. Um, we did this. So this is simultaneous linear equations. Simultane. Uh, how am I going to? Simultaneous. Simultaneous linear equations. What else did we do? I think that's basically it. Um, we use kind of Pythagorean theorem. This is similar to um, distance between two points. We kind of covered that. So yeah, this is going to go in graphy theory stuff of algebra and simultaneous linear equations. So we, we just set out, we're like, hey, how are we going to get from meow to meow without making that horse stop following me with a handful of wheat? How am I going to get there? How am I going to, before I go get the, the cows with wheat, uh, how much dirt do I need to build a bridge across this river that's at a 45 degree angle? How do we do that? We calculate it, we use math. We did all kinds of smart stuff, and we found out that you can actually calculate this with y equals mx plus b. And when you substitute in the values, we have y equals m is 3, so 3x three plus 2. So next time your teacher gives you some equation and they're like, hey, here's 100 problems that you need to do before tomorrow, and I don't care if you want to eat, you don't have time, you got to do all this homework. Well, they give you all these equations, and you look at this, and you're thinking, when am I ever going to use this in my life? Well, now you know. That equation, all those equations that you got to do at the end of your little chapter, well, that could represent the number of dirt blocks to cross a river in Minecraft. Math has real life uses, even if it doesn't seem that way when they're teaching it to you. This looks exactly like one of the problems you're going to see in your book, right? Y equals 3x plus 2. This has a real life use. That's what I'm trying to get through to you guys. I hope you get it. Um, this, this might have been complicated because I didn't really have a plan for the video other than trying to kind of figure this out. And it turns out that we use some concepts and I'm going to get this in the lessons. Hopefully this made sense. If it doesn't, the main thing I want you to take away from this is that these equations can truly represent something and it can even represent the number of dirt blocks to cross a, a river in Minecraft. Okay, so this was Keith from Kinvert and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.